Hello there guys, my name's Michael and in this video I'm going to be showing you my bulletproof method for learning any scale in two minutes or less. So a common problem faced by many guitar players is the fact that you have to learn the same scale patterns over and over and over again. It gets really frustrating that you learn something, you invest a whole bunch of time into it, you don't practice for a few days and then when you go to play it, you can't remember where the notes are or what your fingers are meant to play. After watching this video, you'll be able to learn any scale pattern once, you'll be able to learn it in about two minutes and you will retain that forever. So that every single time you pick up your guitar to practice scales, you'll be able to improve on what you already know rather than having to waste time going back and relearning what you did a couple of practice sessions ago. If that sounds great, let's get into it. For our example today, I'm gonna to show you how you can learn a major scale. In fact, we're gonna learn the A major scale, starting from the root note on string six, fret number five. Now we're gonna learn the three note per string pattern so that we have an even consistent three notes on every single string. And this is a little bit different from the traditional pattern for most people. So we wanna try and give you a, you know, a scale pattern you might not necessarily know. So what we're gonna do, rather than try and learn the whole pattern in one big go, which is the mistake that everybody makes, is trying to learn our entire scale, all six strings in a single go, we're gonna break it down into smaller chunks, one string at a time. Our brain works much better when we break any amount of information down into smaller, more manageable chunks. What we're gonna do is learn it chunk by chunk, one string at a time, and then consolidate each string into our memory, and then build upon that, piece it together, and in two to three minutes, you will have memorized the entire scale, and you'll hopefully have that forever. So if we take a look at our A major scale, we are gonna play frets five, fret seven, and fret nine on string number six. You gotta have your thumb up nice and high, curve your fingers, and basically play those three numbers at least three times, if not five to 10 times, just like this. Five, seven, nine. Pause and repeat. Pause and repeat. Now, once you've done that correctly three times in a row, we're gonna move on to the next chunk, the next string, which happens to be five, seven, nine on string number five. And you're gonna do that three times. And again, one more time. And then we're gonna put chunk number one and two together like this. And of course, you're gonna repeat that three times. Now by doing that, what we've done is we've trained ourselves to learn and play the notes on string number six and we've connected it to string number five. So even though now we have six notes, six bits of information, we're thinking of it as two chunks. It's a smaller amount and we're much more likely to retain that. Then we go forward and we add in string number four. So we're gonna play six, seven, nine on string number four three times. And then before we move on, what we're gonna do is add that to the existing information and go five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, six, seven, nine. And in fact, if we just do the first eight notes there, we've already got our first octave of that scale and everything else is just additional notes within the scale pattern. But the whole idea is we go chunk by chunk, bit by bit, we put it together. So we've done three of the strings and we've already completed the first octave. Now I'm not gonna repeat that two more times in this video, otherwise this will be a 20 minute video, but you get the idea. We go on to string number three and we're gonna do that one three times and that's six, seven, nine. Then you put it together. Then we go to string number two and we're gonna go seven, nine, 10. By the way, another great hint is to actually say the notes that you're playing out loud a couple of times that they stick up here and when you go to play, you actually know what notes you're looking for rather than trying to read it off the page and transcribe it and make sense. You know, the less thinking you have to do and the more playing can do, your fingers just go to where you tell them, the better it's gonna be for you. But once you've done string number two, three times, you put it all together again. And that is the end of the scale. Now there are additional notes in that pattern there, which we can add on top and we will add on top, but you've essentially played all two octaves of that three note per string major scale there. So you put it together, you've done all that, and then the final cherry on top is string number one, which is also seven, nine, 10. And then you put it all together. Mm -hmm. 
and there you go. You've taken a really complex scale with basically 18 notes across all six strings. We've broken it down into six individual chunks and we put them together piece by piece and that should allow you to learn any scale in two to three minutes. And the best thing is next time you go and practice, that will hopefully have retained in your long-term memory so that you can essentially build upon that very, very easily. You wanna take as much thinking out of it as possible by learning about things in a smarter way so that rather than waste a whole bunch of time learning and relearning, you can just go straight to practicing and improve it. So next time you practice this scale after having learned it, it will get better and better and faster and faster. So guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you give me a like. And if you wanna keep up to date with some more great content that's gonna allow you to learn guitar faster and make more progress in less time, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.